Hey, what's up guys? How y'all doing? Bad Music Production here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn your vocals from sounding like this See I've been through the hills and by I've been trying to make a stay See I don't understand To sounding like this See I've been through the hills and by I've been trying to make a stay See I don't understand How you just walk away See I could now this process guys is very simple to make your vocals sound like the weekend there's different ways of doing it I found the easiest way of doing it so you don't have to actually create different buses and stuff and make your vocals run into a bus and then into the vocals that is the most professional way of doing it but you can do it this way and achieve the same kind of effect and it's much quicker way of working and easier way of working so I'm gonna show you guys the easiest way of making your, your vocals sound like the weekend in FL Studio. So here in FL Studio guys I'm going to show you exactly what to do to achieve this the weekend type of vocal effect. It's very very simple and you will also be able to download the whole um, preset down below. If you haven't already make sure you subscribe, make sure you leave a comment and hit the like. Uh, I'm going to cut, cut this really quickly, go to straight and show you guys how to do this effect and yeah let's do this. So let's go straight into this. Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so I'm gonna run you exactly Okay, so here in FL Studio, I'm gonna run you exactly on what you guys need to do So the first thing, okay, I've highlighted three different colors We've got the main vocals on channel 20 We've got extra saturation 21 22, we've got reverb And the main record channel on 30 It's very, very simple Okay, so what you're gonna do, okay, is you're gonna start recording your vocals using a preset a preset that I've set up which you guys can download from Producers Buzz which has all of these effects which this is how it makes your vocals sound see we are going to record with this kind of effect already so we we kind of have this kind of effect in the uh, in the vocals just to make them pretty cool um, just like this you know and this is going to give us a really cool kind of main kind of you know that weekend type of vocal effect so we're gonna open these up and go you know start singing like this instead of singing like this this is what it would sound like originally this is what you would you know sing like I've been through the hills and back see what I mean and if you turn them on already you got I've been through the hills and back you see that I've been through the hills and back I've been na 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 so it already sounds better now, to make it sound good, what you need to do here is the sound goodizer. Uh, just add sound goodizer to your main recording channel, then fruity reverb. On the sound goodizer, select A and go 90, well, 50% on the input. Fruity reverb, guys. Really, really simple. Uh, just the default reverb, but with the input being set to 11%. Then, we're using something called Panagement 2. Now there's a link where you guys can go and download it and use it for free. It is a paid VST but it's, it's free to use. There's a demo too that you guys can use. It is restricted but you can use all the tools that we're using here without any issues. So you guys can go and download that and use all the stuff that I've used in here. So you set the decay to 50%, the wetness to about 16.7% and the size to 34%. If you don't know what is what, always look up here in the hint panel. It will always tell you exactly what you're on. And once you set that up, okay, you will have your vocals sounding like this. And then just a fruity soft clipper. Really, really cool. So once you get your vocals sounding like that, you record it straight into FL Studio. Okay, so we're recording with this kind of effect already built inside, which is pretty cool. Which is the main vocal that we've got at the top here. Check this out. See, I've been through the hills and back. I've been trying to make a stay. See, I don't understand how you just. Now, this channel, even though we recorded it, it still has few effects on it. So, if I've, I have enabled few effects on this channel, check this out. This is how it sounded originally. See, I've been through the hills and back. This is I've how you would record it. 
See, I don't understand how you just walk away. See, how could you? How could I? How could you? So then, okay, I'm gonna turn off the the reverb. So once you guys record it with the main channel, once so once you guys record it with the main channel like this, you're gonna set the vocals to the main. Obviously, you're gonna have the main vocals recorded over here. So this is how it's going to sound once you record it on this channel. You, know, you set your microphone here on the side and you record on the main, whatever channel you guys are using, with these four different settings on here to make it sound like this. You would then go on to the main vocals over here and on your main vocals you would add these effects to it. See I've been through the hills and back I've been trying to make a stay See I don't understand How you just walk away so what did we do to lift up the vocals? Well first thing, we used Sound Goodizer again with A turned up to about to about 40% just like that and what that will do is it will saturate the vocals a little bit more but that's pretty cool because we want that kind of saturated type of output that The Weeknd has okay and then what we do is we add a fruity multiband compressor on top of the main vocals and on, on, on that on the top on the uh on the vocals we're gonna have two uh we're gonna have these type of settings that you guys can see on the on the screen so on the low band we've got minus 20.3 db on the threshold ratio two two one knee 80 percent attack zero release 10 milliseconds and gain minus 4.2 on the mid we're gonna have threshold minus 14.8 Ratio 211, the knee 80%, attack 0 0.1 millisecond, release 10 millisecond, and again 2.3. On the high band, we're gonna have minus 2.4, well, minus 24.3, the ratio 221, knee 80%, attack 0 0.1, release 10 milliseconds, and again. 3.1 decibels and this will give us that kind of um, this compression and and the sound good eyes up will give us this kind of the weekend type of you know frequency that we're looking for oh I pressed it by accident so this is what it will give us this kind of output let's go over here so you can see without the good sound good eyes and the fruity man band compressor it doesn't sound right but with them on check this out see i've been through the hills and back i've been trying to make a stay see i don't understand how you just walk away. now obviously we've added some eqs in here so the first thing we did was we lifted up the eqs so we're now fruity parametric eq on here with the uh, first band going down minus 0.4 decibels second uh, minus 0.2 third band just keep it in the middle fourth band in the middle and fifth band in the middle sixth band minus 0 0.1 decibel and last band minus 1.8 decibel this will just kind of even out the eq and then what we did is we added a type of eq to kill the lot to kill the highs basically okay now you guys if you've got a really deep voice you can use this i i usually turn this off but if you've got really really deep voice it will come in handy check this out it makes it quite saturated so I recommend you guys take that off because we're going to be using extra saturation on channel 21 but if you guys want and you you got a really deep voice like this then yeah you can use that fruity parametric it'll make it sound much smoother but I'll keep it off for now because my voice is quite high pitched and there's the fruity soft clipper on there just like this oh so just a fruity soft clipper on there so it sounds like this and then what I've simply done is I cloned the vocals down three times well two times as you can see one and two so all to all you have to do to clone your vocals down three times okay I'm gonna move them over here so how did I do that? How did I shift it over? On your keyboard, hold down shift. You know the shift key? I'm going to show you. Shift, right there. Shift. You press the shift key and you hold it down 
while clicking onto the actual track and you can drag it across anywhere just copy and copy it and just drag it over now if it doesn't stick into the cell on a magnet here at the top select the magnet and put it into a cell that will prevent it from not sticking to the actual bars because if you don't have it selected what will happen is it will just move around freely without sticking to anything and it'll go out of tune so you want to you know stick it to the cell so this way you can place it at the exact right position below so what we did is we have it here like this okay the main vocal so we hold shift drag on it down once and then click on it again and drag on it down once again so we get um, three sets of vocals now when we click on them they will all be on the same effect channel as you can see which is wrong so to make them unique you need to make them unique basically so you can separate them to different effects channel so what you do here at the side if you hover over it you see the mouse changes to like a little hand when you click on it and you go down you see a something saying make unique and what you want to do is you want to click on this option to make it unique so you select that and what you will see is that has now got hash and four at the end which means this that vocal effect is now unique if whatever I do to this won't affect the other channel you see if I decided to edit this effect below in the editor it would only affect the one at the top because I haven't made it unique yet so to do that you need to click on here and make it unique again so now all of these are unique which means I can add them to different channels so I'm gonna add this one to 21 and the one at the bottom to 22 so we've got channel 20 we've got channel 21 and we've got channel 22 see I can now control all of the different channels so um, so on channel 22 guys I, I mean channel 21 on the vocals what we're gonna do here is simply saturate them so we're gonna kill off the lows and just lift up the highs like this simply okay this is the kind of effect you're looking for so that's all we done on the parametric EQ and then on the last one right at the bottom what we did on the channel 20, 22 is we added a reverb okay and on this reverb we're just going to use fruity reverb because of the settings are much easier to explain so the fruity parametric okay on this we killed the lows totally and then we created like this little wave so band 3 here on, on the saturation is 3.8 band 4 5.6 4.2 on 5 band 5 band 6 3.0 and band 7 is minus 4.0 dB as you can see all of them if you look at the hint panel at the top just like that and then we've got fruity reverb turned up the dryness and the early reflection rate up to max 125 percent wetness stayed at 48 and just turn it up to max and then a fruity reverb again okay the dryness 99 percent to 100 the early refraction rate 116 percent and the wetness 82 percent with the input being set to 23% which gives us that kind of cool reverb so this is the kind of reverb we actually get see that so we've got the reverb on a separate channel we've got the saturation on different channel and we've got the main vocals on a different channel which is the one right at the top let's turn it on now you you can control the saturation and the reverb check this out so what you want to do is you don't want to make the saturation too high so just drag it down a bit and the reverb drag it down as well just not too much depending on what kind of effect you want but to get that perfect kind of weekend type of output you just want to kind of go low and low on the saturation just a little bit below the main vocals and the reverb really sitting there at the bottom below the saturation and there you go guys a simpler way 
of actually creating the vocals in FL Studio by not using any buses or inputs and stuff, just by simply cloning the main vocal down, down, down and separating the channels, you're simply creating the same type of effect that you would using the buses and different carbon of inputs, you know, all the little rivers flowing into the main river. You're kind of doing the same kind of effect because you're using the main vocals and then you're duplicating the main vocals, adding your reverb, adding your saturation and you're just overflowing you know the right amount of saturation and reverb but your vocal is still at the top and i kind of i find that easier way of working you know and a lot of people that are starting to use it you will find it so much easier to work it like this than to create the buses and stuff it is more professional to create the buses and stuff but this is a quicker way of working around it to create those type of weekend vocal effects you guys can download this in the more description below there's a preset on, on producers bars which you guys can use but from that yeah let's go back out all right guys so I want to thank you for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure you go and check out producersbuzz.com where you guys can download loads of drum kits VSTs FL Studio projects you know you can join the forum there's a lot of cool things we've got on there for you the most important thing is we've got the whole uh, set of different vocal kind of presets which you guys can download for free so apart from that make sure you stay safe Wish everyone a Merry Christmas and during this pandemic time, keep producing, stay creative, keep it real. Peace out. Pad Music Production, signing out.